Let's get started with pivot tables, which is an important uh, tool to use in Microsoft Excel. So the objectives for this particular video are first to download the Lehman Baseball Database, which contains over 140 years of baseball data. We'll also create a very simple pivot table in Excel and hopefully you can follow along as I do these steps so that you can reproduce my results. Finally we will produce some answers to some very simple statistical questions using pivot tables in particular the rows, columns, filters, and values which are some of the attributes uh, of this particular tool in Microsoft Excel. So I'll begin with the questions. Uh, the first one is very broad. How many home runs were hit among all 30 Major League Baseball teams during the 2016 season? We'll drill down a little bit more detail. Which of the MLB teams hit the most home runs? Not just the total, but which ones hit the most home runs? Then we'll drill down further. Of that team that hit the most home runs, which player? hit the most on that team. And finally, we want to know for that same player, what percentage of his team's home runs did he hit? Okay, so let's access the uh, Lehman database. And uh, this particular link is available uh, on D2L, but it's just seanlehman.com slash baseball dash archive slash statistics. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the 2016 comma delimited version. Okay, so what this is going to create is a zip file that's going to appear in my downloads folder. So what happens with zip files is this is a compressed file which requires extraction. So I'm gonna right click on this and uh, actually it's already extracted. But you might need to right click on it uh, when you download it to make sure that it expands and installs all the files. So within the core menu, you'll see that there are several Excel files or these are the uh, comma delimited files. Let's begin with the readme this is a te simple text file, just so that you can get a sense of what the Lehman database contains. So let me just skip down to uh, the main point. After all this introduction and acknowledgments and revision history, well, I want you to know that there are four main tables. The master table or the master database contains information about all the players. So we're going to look at that one first. And we will only look at the batting database um, because all of the examples that I share with you can also be applied to the pitching and fielding database. And this this particular readme file is very useful because it contains the definition of all the fields in the database. So they use a shorthand label for player ID, uh, birth year, birth month, etc. So let's look at the master table, which is just called master. And when we open it in Excel, you'll notice that all the labels are in row one. And then all the data begins in row two onwards. So what the Lehman database does is they use a shorthand, a nickname for that particular player. And they use uh, all their biographical information. Well, we're going to look for a particular, let's look for Terry Francona. So I'm going to press control F to bring up this window, type in Francona. And you'll notice that
it found two Franconas. There's a Terry Francona and there's a Tito Francona. One of them was born in 1959 and the other one in 1933. So we have the right person here, uh, U of A legend Terry Francona, um, who played uh, for various uh, MLB teams after playing at the University of Arizona. Let's look for one more player. Okay, so we're going to look for Trumbo. Here it is. Mark Trumbo, born in 1986 in Anaheim and currently plays for the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Okay, so you'll notice how many rows there are in this database. Let me go to the very end. There are 19,000 105 because the first row uh, just has labels so 19,105 entries so that is how many major league baseball players have played in the last 140 years okay so uh, this is important because we're gonna come back to uh, this particular player Mark Trumbo uh, and so we need to There we go. We need to remember uh, what his player ID is. It's Trump MA Mark 01. Okay, so, so going back to the uh, master table, this is just telling us what players exist in the database. The batting table is where actual performance data exists. So it's helpful to know what each of the columns actually stands for. Some of them are very intuitive and obvious, like HR is home runs, uh, year ID is year, player ID uh, is the shorthand uh, for each of the players. Uh, some of them are a little bit trickier, like GIDP is grounded into double plays or IBB is intentional walks. Okay, We're only going to deal with home runs for this particular demonstration, but I want you to know that if you need to know the uh, exact definition of some of these columns, that information is available in this readme file. Okay, so let's go to the fielding uh, database and uh, I'm sorry no, we're going to go to the batting database. Now, there are two different databases called batting. The second one, which we won't look at, is only for the postseason, for the playoffs. So we want only the regular season batting. So we're going to double click on that. Close all that. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, batting database. Again, it's what every player has done in the last 140 years. You notice that the year ID uh, it begins with 1871, and let me go to the very end of this database, and you'll notice that it ends with the year 2016. Okay, so because that is a complete season that's already taken place, we know all the results from that entire regular season. You also notice there are. 102,817 rows. You take away one because the first row just has labels. So there are 102,816 records in this particular database. And each record contains multiple columns, okay? Which, again, were defined in the README file, the year the stint is how many teams they played for, which teams they played for, and so on and forth, so forth. So we'll, the only data we're going to evaluate are home runs. Okay, so now let's get into the pivot tables. The pivot tables are very helpful when you want to summarize data or you want to filter and sort certain amounts of data because the what we have here are hundreds of thousands of records it's too much for us to analyze on a computer screen or too much for us to remember in our head. 
So the pivot table helps us focus in on specific aspects of the data. So within the insert menu, I'm going to create a pivot table. Okay. Um, now, what is important here is the range of the data. So the batting database from cell A1 to cell V102817. Okay. So that, in other words, it's selecting the entire database. Okay. So let's hit OK there. So now we are in the pivot table zone. And you can think of a pivot table uh, as a magnifying glass of looking into a subset of the, all the data you have available. Now, what you'll notice on the right side is all the fields that are available in this database. These were all the columns that you saw in the particular, in the previous cell. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just create a very simple table of the number of home runs, the total number of home runs that exist in this database. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight uh, HR, and I'm gonna drag this down to where it says values, okay? So you'll see immediately the result is there were 289,283 home runs hit over the last 140 years, okay? Well, that's interesting, but in reality, let's go back to my original question, my statistical question, which was how many home runs were hit by all MLB teams during the 2016 season? So you can imagine now we need to apply a filter, okay? And the filter we want to apply is year. So I'm going to go to year ID. I'm going to pull this little drop down window or drop down arrow. And you'll notice that all the years are selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the select all button so that it deselects everything. Then I'm going to scroll down to 2016 and hit OK. Okay. So what, what you'll see now is there's a little funnel that shows up in this particular uh, row. But now I need to drag this row in, into the filter window. You'll notice that the pivot table had been updated and now it only shows the number of home runs that were hit in the 2016 season. Now this is for all 30 MLB teams. Okay, So let's go back to our statistical question and I'm going to enter the result which is 5610 those are how many home runs were hit among all MLB teams during that season. Okay. Now the next question is, which teams hit the most home runs during that season? Okay. So back at my pivot table, I've already identified that I'm only looking at home runs. Now, those are the values that I'm looking at. Now I'm only looking at home runs from 2016. But the next question asks me to further analyze how many or which teams uh, hit these home runs. So what I'm going to do is grab the team ID and I'm going to drag that down to rows and you'll notice that a table will be created. Now these are the 30 MLB teams that were active in the year 2016. They're three letter acronym. And you'll notice that the, in, the data is actually ordered alphabetically with the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, at the top and the Washington Nationals at the bottom. But, but here, I want the, the computer to tell me what the answer is, so I need to give it one additional piece of instruction, which is sort the data. So I'm going to go to Data menu, sort. I want largest to smallest. So in other words, sort the team ID by the sum of the home runs in descending order. Hit OK. Great, we have a result. The Baltimore, oops, the Baltimore Orioles hit 253 home runs in the 2016 season. Okay, so the answer, uh, which team hit the most home runs is Baltimore Orioles. Okay, next question. Which player hit the most home runs 
among his amongst this team. So if I want to find out who in particular hit the most home runs out of the Baltimore Orioles, what I'm going to do is I'm just actually double click on this cell. So this becomes a dynamic, whoops, sorry. Double click on this cell, which is the Baltimore uh, Baltimore Orioles, and I'm going to select player ID. I want to basically zoom in to this data further, and I want it to display which player um, hit these home runs. Now again, these are all the players on the roster for the Baltimore Orioles. You'll see that some of them had more home runs than others. But again, I want uh, I want this data to be sorted uh, from uh, largest to smallest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Value Field Settings. I'm going to go show values as percent of parent row total. Now, if I was to do percent of grant total, it would show me the percentages of each particular player as a percent of the total number of home runs hit in that season by all the teams. Instead, what I want is I only want the percent of the number of home runs for the Baltimore Orioles. So per percent of parent row total. I'm going to hit OK. Okay. Then I'm going to ask it to sort it again from largest to smallest. And here we have a result, which is Mark Trumbo, who is Trump MA01, he hit 18.5% of the home runs for the Baltimore Orioles in the 2016 season. So, Mark Trumbo hit 18 and let's round that up, 18.6% of the home runs for the Baltimore Orioles in the 2016 season. So, this will be the first of a few pivot table videos, but I hope that this particular demonstration helps you appreciate how pivot tables work and how you can utilize them to filter large amounts of data into something that's a little bit more manageable and it helps you answer very specific questions.